Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Let me just cut this deck and see what we got. The Herald font in the death card. Well, isn't that just wonderful? So there's something to do with God here. We have a higher power involved that is causing some sort of ending. There is going to be a major ending here. Um, major change, major profound life change. Divinely guided, okay? This is divine guidance. So there's a higher power involved. This is, has to do with a death. It has to do with an ending, a major ending, maybe the end of a commitment, okay? The Hierophant is about commitment. We have Scorpio. We have Taurus. Um, it's interesting because they're opposite on the wheel as well, so that's pretty interesting. Anyhow, um, major profound life change, a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. This is divinely guided, divinely guided ending. It's interesting because I was just thinking about... I was, and it's interesting, it is, because I, I was just thinking about uh, ending something with, you know, completely, uh, like, making that cut, like, seriously making that cut. So it's this pretty interesting um, death, major ending, ending, ending of a commitment. Um, somebody's gut, somebody's gut or a mentor, there's some sort of divine guidance here. There is some sort of divine guidance The end, the end. It's very interesting. The end of some sort of commitment. I mean, that's what that is. The Hierophant is a commitment. The death is the end. The end of a situation. Something, the end of a situation or something is leaving your life. Okay. Listening to your gut. Divinely guided. There's a higher power involved that is causing causing an ending. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is unrealistic. It's dissatisfactory dissatisfying. This is a dead end. There's there's no growth. Time to go someplace else. Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands is about commitment. It's about a home. It's about a family. I mean we got the four of wands here. Four, four of wands is about foundations. It's about family. It's about commitment. Okay. Seven of pentacles is no re in reverse. It's no investment, no growth. Okay. So there could be an upcoming get together. I don't know. We may have a get together here. The four of wands can symbolize, you know, a gathering or a get together. Um, the hair font next to the death card could be a funeral. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest with you. There could be a funeral. Um, could be the end of a marriage as well, because the Hierophant represents marriages and funerals. Um, but that death card is an ending that leads to a new beginning. Okay, so we may have an end of one commitment that leads to a new one. Okay, obviously that's what this is. So no investment here, no no growth. It's time to go someplace else. Um, this it does have to do with a commitment. Okay, period. <laughs> it does. Ooh, happens all the time. Hero font reverse. We have somebody here that's having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Okay, they're being controlled by, by a father figure or by their ego or they're just not very spiritual. But there is a relationship that is no longer on the same page. Okay, we have a relationship that is not on the same page. There's, there's really no commitment here. There's no commitment. No, there could be something happening. Somebody may be in disbelief. Somebody may be choosing not to invest in something. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is admitting defeat. It's walking away. Somebody is it's a hostile situation. You know, this is walking away. It's non-negotiable. Maybe it's looking out for number one. I got to do what's right for me.
walking away from something. No longer going to invest. Severing ties. Ha! Severing ties. Somebody is severing ties. There's no investment. There's nothing happening. There's no growth. Why should I commit myself to this? Four of Pentacles reverse. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go of some sort of obsession. Somebody was resisting change. This is letting go of the resistance. Letting go of the fear. Letting go. Somebody is letting go. They are. They're letting go. They were holding on to it for, I don't know, obsessed. Maybe they were obsessed or it felt secured to them or maybe they were in their ego because the Five of Swords is very egotistical, you know, prideful. It's hard to walk away from something. You have to swallow your pride sometimes and admit that, it's, that you were wrong. I mean, if there's no commitment here, then why hold on to it? Why even be a part of it? You know, maybe it's best to just sever the ties completely so there's no viewing, you know, there's none of that. You know, if there's nothing, if you're not getting anything at all. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is memories. It's nostalgia. Um, thinking. So we got somebody here that is thinking because before that is the Five of Cups, which is grieving over a loss. You know, thinking about the past. So we got somebody here that is really reminiscing. Page of Wands just flipped right out, fell right out of the deck. So Page of Wands is an offer or an invite. There may be a new suitor here. I mean, this is typically good news that is arriving. When you get the Page of Wands, this is an offer or an invite that is coming. This is somebody that, you know, is taking a new adventure. This may be a new discovery, a new opportunity, you know, traveling in a new direction. Somebody is letting go of a, a relationship that is no longer on the same page. On, I mean, that's what this is. There's, they're, they're, they're walking away. They may be reminiscing over the past, traveling in a new direction. Yeah, there's some sort of reminiscing. Oh my goodness gracious, tower. So this is a major event, major disruption, okay? A major life change. We have a disruption and maybe even an internal disruption. So this is an, ex we may even have an explosion here or something that's happening. It's massive, okay? This is a false sense of security that is crumbling. This is a necessary uh, breakdown or break up or something like that. This is a false sense of security that is crumbling, right? This is a major disruption. We have somebody here that is feeling disruption. They are major, major life change. Definitely a major life change. Um, having a hard time doing the right thing due to social pressure there's going to be an explosion or uh, a massive disruption we have somebody here that is dealing with some massive disruption they're about to get a shock they're about to get a surprise there is a surprise here we, there is definitely a surprise Letting go. Somebody may be being let go. We have institutions here as well, so I'm not sure if there's something to do with an institution or something like that. Uh, somebody is being let go. They're being let go. They're being freed from some sort of false sense of security or they're breaking themselves free. There's, there's some sort of freedom here. It's, there is. 
going someplace else. Somebody is going to be going someplace else. New commitment. I feel like we could have a fight with the, with, and I talked about this yesterday, the Five of Swords and the Tower. There's, there's some sort of, uh, there could definitely be a fight or just walking away or even getting thrown out. Um, it's sudden. This is definitely sudden. It's sudden change, sudden uh, release, sudden release. Severing ties, severing ties, suddenly severing ties. There's no reason to invest in this situation. There's no reason. It's a dead end. It's time to go in a new direction. The relationship isn't on the same page. Oh, here we go. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is independent, independently owned and operated, enjoying life, you know, grateful, single, abundant. We have a very stable, secure, in, abundant person who has persevered. Okay, this is perseverance. This is a strong, independent individual who is abundant by themselves. This could be an entrepreneur, a business owner, or somebody that is just enjoying their life by themselves. Or choosing to. Somebody may be choosing to, but it feels like, well, that tower is right behind this Nine of Pentacles. So we have an independent person who is independently owned and operated. I don't know if there's somebody from the past that is coming around that has because it's connected to that Six of Cups. Somebody may be getting an offer or an invite from somebody that betrayed them in the past. I don't know. This Nine of Pentacles is a stable, solid, secure individual that is just doing very well. An offer or an invite is coming from somebody that is stable and solid. You might be shocked. I don't know about that. Anyhow, an obstacle is being removed, okay? An obstacle is being removed. There's been some lies. There's been some fear. Somebody has been restricting themselves. They've been confining themselves. They're, they're stepping outside of their zone. They're, they're, they're done. They're done staying put in this situation. We may have somebody here that is just realizing their value, realizing their worth. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that knows their value and knows their worth. They may be feeling some sort of internal disruption over no commitment or something. There's going to be a change. Death is a change. The tower is a change. Life is about to change, okay? I don't know if somebody's getting into a commitment or they're getting out of a commitment. Could go either way. Hey, this is all about commitment. And somebody is going to be severing ties. Maybe we've got somebody here that knows their value and they're severing ties. Because, you know, why invest in something that's not investing back? I mean, it's not practical, right? This is an obstacle that's being removed. And sometimes it's just better to sever those ties completely, like block, block. Oh, my hair looks like crap, doesn't it? Whatever, I don't care. It's an emergency. Two of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that has made a poor decision. They've made a poor decision. They're lacking balance. It feels like there's a fall. There's a fall. It's like somebody is, is losing. It's a fall. It is. The tower's a fall as well. We may have a fallout. We may have somebody here that is uh, 
going in a new direction. It feels they're, they're letting something go. They're letting something go. They know their value. They know their worth. They're walking away. They're doing what's best for them. Major disruption. Somebody may become single. It's like suddenly single or suddenly in a new commitment. This is very sudden. Whatever it is, it's sudden change. Two of Pentacles about change as well. Sudden change. Taking action. Page of The Page of Wands takes action. Somebody's about to take action. This is somebody that is very confident. There could be somebody from the past. There could be, there could be somebody from the past that betrayed another person. I don't know why I want to keep saying that. They didn't invest. Maybe they're going to invest. I don't know. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up on that one. But we do have somebody here that is very single and independent and enjoying life that is going to be getting some sort of shock or they're going to, or somebody is getting out of a relationship. They're getting out of a commitment. They're going to become single. Four of Pentacles reverse is opening up. It's letting go, letting go of insecurities or letting go of something that is false because it's next to the tower. Somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. It was a false sense of security. There's, there's somebody here that is very valuable. The Nine of Pentacles is very valuable. Somebody has made a poor decision, a poor financial decision. They made a poor choice. They probably regret it. Oh my goodness gracious. Right next to the tower, the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is the death of a person or idea. This is sick of it, tired, fed up. We may even have some health issues, some extreme health issues. We may have somebody here. This good. There could be some sort of, uh, well, this is the death of a situation. It is. Um, there's been some sort of suffering. There's been some, there has been. We've had death a couple times. Um, so something is coming to an end. There's going to be a major change, a profound life change. It's, it's painful. It's a painful change. There's been some sort of suffering because the three of swords comes before the four of swords. There's been a separation or a loss. We have somebody here that's been suffering. They've been thinking a lot. They've been feeling a lot of internal disruption over this, whatever it is. Um, there's going to be somebody that's about to open up. They've been in their ego. They've been in their pride. They haven't been investing. Maybe they invested in a false sense of security. Maybe they were afraid of real commitment. I don't freaking know. Anyhow, um, there is going, there is something to do with commitment. There is an upcoming get together that is coming up. Somebody is severing ties with the false sense of security. This, this is major. It's a major change. Um, there's memories. There's a lot of memories here. There's a lot of nostalgia, you know, thinking about the feelings, you know, there could even be a soulmate connection here with that six of cups. There's, there's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain. Somebody made a poor decision, especially a poor financial decision, whoever that they, uh, neglected or abused because there's some sort of abuse here, whatever it is, there is with the five of swords, there's some sort of abuse or pride or ego or something that gets in the way you know whoever they abused is doing quite well you know this person is doing quite 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 well the nine of pentacles is somebody that is very secure very stable enjoying life just you know grateful and abundant so we do have somebody here that is very abundant um one more card death of a situation Mm. Ace of Wands, Reverse, going underneath that Four of Swords. So something going south, you know, not coming to fruition. Dashed, dashed expectations, loss of energy, uh, lack of confidence, no growth. Um, we may have somebody here that is in a very unhealthy foundation. They're in an unhealthy situation. Um, there's no spark. There's This is, this is a loss of uh, drive or desire or something going south really fast spark going out, the fire going out, you know. Um, being put out, being put out. Something is, somebody's being put out. The spark or the fire or the flame or whatever is being put out. It's like <laughs> snuffing it out. Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands is about putting up a fight. 
Somebody may be caught off guard. They may be caught. I mean, you had this yesterday. Somebody is going to be caught off guard. We have a fighter here. We have a protector here. You may need, you are probably going to be caught off guard. Somebody is going to be caught off guard. There's going to be some sort of challenge. We have somebody here that is going to need to stand their ground. It's like they're going to be challenged. They're going to be challenged. They're going to be putting up a fight. You're going to be caught, caught, caught off guard. Somebody is going to be caught off guard by an individual that is ready. This person is ready. It's like there, there, there could definitely be a fight here. There could be a fight which causes something to dissolve. You know, because I see that I like a, a spark or the fire or something's being put out, you know, it's like done. Somebody may be becoming single because of a fight or something like that. The, we do have the end of a situation, but we also have, I mean, death is endings and new beginnings. So a separation and a loss that leads to a new beginning. The tower is a necessary evil. It's a false sense of security that must crumble because it's it's not stable, it's not secure, it's not real. There's a lot of falseness in there, okay? Um, it's time to rebuild. It's time to rebuild or to build a new foundation where there's more stability, where there will be stability. One more card. Extreme, whatever this is, it's sudden, it's extreme. High priestess fighting, if it's right next to the Seven of Wands. We have somebody here that is very intuitive, that is very, has been keeping a secret. They have been keeping a secret, keeping something to themselves. You're going to be shocked. Something is about to be revealed. I feel like we have somebody here that is sick of hiding. They are sick of the falseness. They are sick of the lies. There's something that is about to happen. It's going to be extremely sudden, extremely You're going to be shocked. You're going to be surprised. There's going to be a change, a sudden ending. Ten of Swords on the bottom. So this is the death of a situation. It's the end of suffering. It could also be something that is coming back around to be dealt with now. I feel like we have somebody here that pushed somebody away because of their ego. Maybe there's going to be a message from that person. I don't know. There could just be a severing of ties, though. I mean, there is a severing of ties here. There definitely is with the Five of Swords. Severing ties with the past. Somebody may be choosing to sever ties with somebody because they know their value. They know their worth. And we may have somebody here that is, I mean, we could go all day, but we can't. A message is coming that is going to shock you. It may be about somebody from your past. It may be, or it's some, there's a message that is coming that I believe is going to shock you. It has to do with death or a marriage or a divorce or a commitment. It has to do with a commitment. It does. This is all about commitment. It is. We got the four of wands next to the hierophant and the hierophant is reversed. So this is about commitment. There's no growth. There's no growth. There's no investment. This is a dead end. It's time to sever ties. This could also be something coming back around something that you thought was over. It's not over yet. 
This is also freedom and liberation. So somebody may be liberating themselves, breaking free from something, you know, that has caused them a lot of pain, that has caused them a lot of suffering. You know, there's been some sort of abuse. I mean, the Five of Swords is abuse. There's been some sort of abuse. Anyhow, we got to go. Um, Seven of Wands. That is uh, caught off guard by a secret. There's a secret. Somebody, something, somebody has been keeping something to themselves. They made a poor decision. Um, Good luck.